Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Matt and Cracks Packs. This is a little segment I would call the Blister Challenge. Uh, I'm going to get blisters from the department stores, Target, Walmart, and uh, Walgreens if they got them on sale. And then I'm going to get on the next day blisters from an LGS, uh, regular packs from an LGS. And we're going to see the, the rate, the pull rate. In my experience, it's been much higher mythic rate. Uh, say I buy 10 of these out of one set, you know, basically it costs less at that store than buying a bundle. And I find my LGSs for whatever reason, at least the ones close to me, run out of um, or don't have the bundles. But it'll cost less to get 10 of, 10 of these blisters and I average three uh, mythics per 10. And that's a proven average for me. So we're going to go ahead and crack these. And uh, I'm going to post this video first. Then uh, I have another video where I open some Visions packs um, that I had. I still have more from my personal collection. Uh, those were fun. Uh, hit some pretty cool cards. And then uh, I'm going to post these. That and then I've got a box of Dominaria. My fourth box of Dominaria. So that should be entertaining. And I've recently, most of my cards that I've been buying, um, I've done through trading, trading my old stuff. And uh, I just, I don't have any interest in playing Legacy. The costs are too high. And you know, what am I going to do with cards? I'm just going to sit around and build dust forever. But I don't want to dump all of them at once. I've said that before. I don't want to get rid of all of them at once. And uh, I kind of bleed them down a little bit. So uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and check this out. And I've noticed with these, every single one of these has a cut somewhere like this. Uh, I've had it where it was cut down into the cards. And I, I took it back to Target and they gave me a free pack. But they just replaced it. So, um, I'm the old Dominaria. I guess just some kind of packaging machine for these. Uh, we have... <laughs> sorry about that. The Sapperling Token. And a uh, Mythic Demon Lord Benzelok. Bells and Lock. And then, uh, nothing to note in the Uncommons. Uh, if everybody hasn't been uh, paying attention... There's a rat card in Dominaria that's worth a buck, and it's holding at a dollar. Um, it's actually pretty awesome, so I recommend pulling that, you know, look through your packs and grab that. It's a good card. It's probably going to stay at a buck, too. Rat Colony, there it is. It's a one dollar card for a con, that's pretty good. And it is holding at a dollar. No foil here. We have an Elvis Reborn. And a Keld and a Medrald of the Grave Tide. The Grave Tide. So that's two Mythics out of three packs. But I'm telling you, my theory's based on experience. Now I'm not saying I haven't had some jank series of pulls with these blisters, but I've had a lot more uh, pulled a lot more Mythics than I do out of packs from my LGS. No offense to my LGS, I pulled a soul ring there, so. Um, we've got Benelish Honor Guard, Sickle Fate, Hitsu Kloniker, Soul Salvage, Grow from the Ashes, Gideon's Approach, uh, Good Old Land of War Elves, Love Land of War Elves, Mythalid Omnivore, Skittering Surveyor, Academy Drake, Sarah Angel, and I remember, remember pulling her in Beta and Unlimited. She's a sweet card, she was so powerful back then. Uh, Howling Golem. Two-headed giant. Kind of reminds me of me. It's about the second head. And, uh, that's it. So, as you can see, two of mix Mythics out of three packs. And I just pulled the first, the first three packs on the shelf. I didn't, on the, on the hook. I didn't do anything special. Just grabbed the first three packs. So, let's go for e Rivals of Exelon see how we do. Taylor Mean, Swagger and Corsair, Legion Conquistador, Moment of Craving, Aggressive Urge, Canal Monitor, 
Stuffboard Sentry, Kite Sail Corsair, we got a foil, uh, Traveler's Amulet, we got a Riverwise Augur, a Legion Lieutenant, Golden Demise, and a Path of Discovery, and the Spirewinder. I didn't get the Spirewinder with the missing numbers. That would have been interesting to have in foil. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. I've got one in my binder, and it was actually very common. I had a guy, I've seen a guy pull three, um, three of them in without the two three. It's just blank and draft. And he kept joking around that it was an infinite, infinite damage because there was nothing there. So, of course, we did not let that fly. And really, he's kind of a cruddy card. Unless you got the City's Blessing, even then there's still a lot better options. Uh, Raptor Companion, another Spirewinder with the numbers. Dusk Legion Zealot, Hardy Veteran, Gruesome Fate, Exultant Sky Marcher, Shatter, Tenali's Crown, Dead Eye Rig Hauler. Yeah, another foil. Flood of Recollection, Golden Demise, Aquatic Incursion, and a Tender Shoot Dryad. Good card in the new format. Oh boy. And the Golden Guardian, so we got a foil. Rare, no mythic, but a full rare. Last pack. I got a Tenshu Dryer and a Golden Guardian. A little double rare in the foil. Madrola seems like a very decent, very decent mythic. So we got a Negate, Orvaska Raptor, Raptor Companion, Vampire Revenant. Night of the Stampede, Mutiny, Squire's Devotion, Overgrown Armistar, Tenali's Crown, Grasping Scoundrel, and we got Cherished Hatchling, Curious Ashen, Siren Reaver, and Avonis Hunger. So no Mythics out of the Rivals packs, but we definitely got some value out of them. So, and you can see the, the Mythic rate is actually pretty high. I, I know people are going to scoff at that, but... I have had so many mythics out of these. The rate is a lot higher than your regular old packs. And I, one time I thought about buying 36 of them, but the price just doesn't add up versus buying a booster box. But one of these days I probably will buy a uh, buy 36 of them, if they're especially if they're on sale and they've got that many, and see how many uh, mythics I get. Um, but that would be quite an investment. I don't know if I'll do it. So, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And uh, guys, have a good